Hey folks, Sean from Boar World here. Today we are going to be doing like a dual kind of proof of concept, but also a tutorial of my like, this is my end game, fully automatic, four times hopper speed, super smelter. This is the fastest you're going to smelt in Minecraft Bedrock. I don't think you can find any faster. I've looked everywhere. That's why I had to create this one. So this will smelt 40 stacks. And it will smelt all 40 stacks with 32 coal blocks. And it will do this in about 10 to 11 minutes. And all you got to do is put the items in the top chest. Right here is a detailed list of the materials you're going to need. Screenshot that. Also, at the same time, you need two stacks of whatever block on top of what was in that chest. So, without further ado, let's just get into this thing. It's going to be 26 wide. You're going to want to run it east to west, and that's your furnaces are going to go east to west. So that way your mine carts can go east to west. It's going to be five deep and 11 tall, and we're going to start from three off the ground. So technically, these three, you could start at the ground and not go three up. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to be going three up so we can just get under there and breathe real good. But either way, you're going to go two up, and then on your third level of the build, you're going to put your first furnace. And you're like seven in from the edge I mean, I kind of screenshot where that was you're gonna put 16 furnaces here yeah you're gonna kind of have to screenshot where that was I didn't do a really good job of showing you there I believe it's six in and then you skip one block from the front so yeah you put in your 16 furnaces here and then on the other side you're going to do the same exact thing so put a temporary block right there i like to have the furnaces facing in it's just preference you don't have to do it that way the furnaces can be facing out it'll work exactly the same so let's get our hoppers then we're going to cover this thing in hoppers so i kind of i kind of go a little hard with the four times speed here you know, you just want one hopper in each of the sides. And then the same thing on the other side you want a hopper in. On all your sides. This is going to be for your fuel collection right there on the bottom. The top's going to be for your items. And then on the bottom here, go ahead and put two temporary blocks right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our... Uh, or storage chest down here now you can do like an item elevator or anything you want like that maybe to like have the items come up because you'll see the inputs are at that 11 11 tall so break them two blocks we're going to put a hopper in the back break this not two just one go up and then you'll see it's under that furnace then we're going to link that up and then we're just going to link all the sides up so that way you know we can collect everything that comes out obviously so yeah you can put an item elevator you could put like a water stream and you'll see towards the end of the video like where the inputs are so if you want to put an item elevator coming out of here feel free it's just all preference at that point how you want to build it do you want to build it in your wall do you want to build it behind it's just whatever you want So next what we need is we need a T flip flop coming out of the back of this thing. So we're going to grab an observer, we're going to grab droppers, and we already got hoppers. So what you want is an observer coming out of this furnace, then you're going to want a dropper, you're going to want to face it straight up off of that observer, right there. Then you're going to put a dropper facing outwards on top of this dropper, then you're going to get some temporary blocks, come out two from the bottom here. Break that middle block and then face a dropper back into the other dropper like so. Break that block and then put a hopper on top of it. All right, that looks pretty good. So uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to build the circuit. So we're going to get ourselves our blocks. 
come over here. We're going to build out three blocks. I was thinking about doing it, putting the circuit right there on the middle block, but no. We're going to build out three, put the circuit on the end. We're going to need ourselves a comparator, a repeater, and we're going to need ourselves some redstone dust for this next part. So what we want to do is put a comparator coming out of this block right here. We're going to place a temporary block, a block on top, a block underneath, break that middle block. We're going to place a temporary block there, temporary block here, break that middle block. Redstone dust on this block, then you're going to have a repeater on this block. Facing into another block. So we're going to put a temporary here on top. Then we're going to put one on this side and we're going to break that block right there. And just to show you, we're going to put an item inside here. And that will turn the circuit on. That circuit is very vital to the build. And you'll understand why once we get more of it built out. So let's get the... Uh, Block here, block here. Let's get the rails on here. So you're going to want to put blocks in those orientations. Then also you're going to want to wrap blocks the whole way around this backside here. And there we go. Like, like I mentioned before, if I did mention before, this is kind of an end game project. So you're just going to want to be super rich. I haven't tested this with like powered rails and rails in between and how far you can space them out. I just put powered rails all over everything. So just be super rich when you build this. It's mostly for end game anyway. What else do you need? 40 stacks of glass unless you're doing like a mega build. Keep that in mind. This is it's basically for the end of the game. And the way it's set up with the timing, I uh, I don't think it would work without having all powered rails. But you definitely want regular rails in the corner so they can wrap around. Then you're going to do the same thing on the top. And that's why we build our rails east to west because if you tried to put them here, the, the rails would connect with the ones on the bottom and it would just make it for a terrible terrible time for your build so that's why we just build it east to west remember that's very very important then we're going to put regular rails here on the end on top of our dropper even no worries now let's get ready we're because we're going to put our redstone blocks above these here supply power to all these rails and then we're going to get into building the circuit on this bad boy it seems intimidating when you look at the whole build. It's actually not that big a deal. We just have one circuit to fire the minecarts initially when it detects that there's items in there. And then we have a delay circuit so that way the minecarts can be filled with a stack of items every time they come back to their, you know, resting station. So we're going to put blocks in these orientations here. We're going to go one up. Then we're going to put two more here two more here temporary block we're going to go up by two break this block and then copy it on the other side same thing with these bottom ones we're going to need blocks to send the minecart back out so we're going to put temporary blocks with blocks on top right in those orientations right there then we need to get our rails again we're going to get our regular rail we're going to get our detector rail we already have our powered rails so what we're gonna want is regular rails going up the hill see that's why the east and west thing we want them going up the hill there we go and it's um pretty sure the detector rail goes it back here yeah right there yep and then we're gonna go here and powered rail on the end and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side minus the detector rail and power rail right there on the end. Then we're going to do regular rail, powered rail on this side, regular rail, and powered rail on this side. 
All right, that is looking all good and fresh. Um, I think it's time. Let's grab some hoppers. Yeah, and we're going to put hopper above this rail, and we're going to put a hopper above this rail. Nothing crazy. And on top of these hoppers, now, this is important. You're going to want to use detector rails. Don't use powered rails or regular rails. Use detector rails, and there's a reason for that. The detector rails will lock the hopper. So that way your hopper isn't causing your mine carts to run at normal hopper speed. If you use blocks, or it will not work correctly. If you use regular rails on top of the hopper, it will not work correctly. So go ahead and get a comparator. Bring it out from there and then bring another comparator looking into the first comparator. You're gonna oh you're gonna want to grab a dropper, not a furnace. You're gonna want to put a temporary block behind this one. And then you want a dropper right there. I suppose a chest would work the same way, but that's what you're gonna put two stacks of items in. Alright, what is next? Um Let's uh, let's start working on the circuit. I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do next. Uh, maybe I'll kind of break. Because uh, you need something to trap these mine carts in. You don't technically need them blocks there. But I'll just leave it there. Whatever. You'll see why in a minute. That's what she looks like from the back. So let's uh, let's put a line of blocks right here to about the end of the furnaces, maybe a little more. Yeah, something like that, because this is going to be our main on and off switch for the build. Going to run redstone, about eight or nine. Then we're going to put a repeater. Going to run another eight or so redstone, seven. Maybe right about there. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. It just depends on the... I forget the circuit, how long it is. So let's grab an observer. Let's put it right here, facing down off of this block. Yeah, that looks right. Looks pretty good. Let's get us a sticky piston. We're going to face that straight down. And then... Wait... Uh, yeah, redstone block. I have redstone blocks. Put that right there. So what, then what we're going to do is we're going to put three temporaries. One, two. No, this one's a permanent. Those two are temporaries. Then we're going to put another one underneath. Then coming off that way, break that block. Then we need two more, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, yep, yeah, that's all looking pretty good. I'm pretty sure I understand how I want to do this now. Um, let's take a look at it. I think here I edit out and I go look at my other build. Yeah. So we're going to grab redstone dust. You're going to want redstone dust here, redstone dust below it, redstone on the end, and then in the middle of that you want a repeater. You're going to put that on a four-tick delay. Then what you're going to do is grab you a torch. If I can find them. There they are. And then a sticky piston. This is going to be what kicks our mine carts off. You're going to want a torch right there. You're going to want to put your sticky piston above that torch. It's going to, it's going to fire. Boom. And you want to want a block right here. You can break that block underneath and put a repeater right there. I hit that redstone perfect, too. What we're going to want is, I think next we're going to put in our target blocks. Your target block. Keep your torches. You're going to put target block here. And we want one underneath this guy right here. So we're going to put a temporary block here. And then we're going to put our target block right there. 
break that top block and then we're going to put torches on top. We're going to take our solid blocks. We're going to put solid block here, solid block here. We're going to put solid block here. And we're going to cover that all with redstone whenever I get to it. There we go. And now we can't have our redstone run in the muck like that right there. So we're going to put a solid block right here. And then, as soon as I'm done looking at all this, yep, we're going to put a solid block on top of that redstone there. Because we don't want those two things, you know, we don't want one affecting the other here. We want, we want them independent of each other. So... It's looking pretty close. I think what we have to do now is just put the mine carts in. So let's go ahead and do that. Pretty sure. Nope, we're going to put in our circuit. So let's put a solid block right here. This is our delay circuit. That'll. And obviously we need our repeaters and our comparators again. So this is our delay circuit. Repeater right there. It's going to go into a solid block. We're going to keep that temporary block in the bottom. We're going to put a block here. And a block on the other side. We're going to put comparators on top of those after we break that temporary block. Comparator, comparator. And we're going to use a temporary block here. Go up, break that block. Temporary block here, block above it. Break that bottom block. Take that middle block, turn it into a T. There we go. Turn it into a nice little T there. We're going to put a temporary block here on this end. We're going to put a block above that, break that middle block. Then we're going to put some redstone there, redstone here, redstone here. And we're going to finish it off with two more comparators running into that solid block. Now what that circuit will do, it will stop the mine carts long enough to load the mine carts with a stack of materials and a stack of coal. That's what that thing does, that bad boy. So we're going to put a piston here. Redstone block here, and then we need a temporary block right out from this repeater. Put a block above that, break this bottom block, and then run a repeater into that target block. That'll shut the mine carts off long enough so they can get what they need to fill the furnaces every pass. <laughs> yeah, we are, uh, we're about done here. I think we're almost ready to run this thing. Um, we got to put the mine carts in. Just remember on this side, you're going to want to place two rails because you want your rails going in the, the east-west orientation. So that way your build doesn't have to stick out a block. If you don't block these mine carts off, they'll just roll off the edge when, you're, when your game's loading. Break those. So you got two, three, four tall. That's about all we need. Blocks here. And then we're just going to match up on this side. Blocks, block, block, regular rail in the middle. And there you go. Simple. So I believe what we're going to do next is we're going to get our chests for our inputs. We're going to go place them above these rails. This one you're going to want a double chest. This one you can... Do single chest, double chest, I go single chest. It honestly doesn't matter. Now, let us uh, clear our hot bar here, and then we'll um, fill it up with seven minecart with hoppers. So obviously we're going to put our minecarts on top of that rail under that hopper, and on top of that rail under that hopper, and then we're going to fill this whole thing up with minecarts. Yep, two more on this side. Yep, and then that is... Uh, I think that's pretty much complete. Let's go ahead and just get all this out of my hot bar. And then let's just... Uh, yeah, that's all looking pretty fresh. That's looking pretty fresh and fly. We like it. We're excited. we're going to do now is we're going to get two stacks of whatever block it doesn't matter solid block throw them in this uh 
dropper we got right here. And what that's going to do is it will not engage the signal until this minecart has more than one stack in it. So if it has a full stack plus one, that's when it'll kick. It'll send your minecarts off. Your minecarts will have materials. It'll kick the circuit on the other side and it'll keep everything. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. What do we got? I think I, yeah, I forgot my levers. You're gonna wanna leave her here and that's gonna send the minecart back to its home position. And you're gonna wanna leave her, no, no, put it up here. You wanna leave her there too, which will send the minecart back to its home position. All right, and then this is the circuit that's gonna hold them. This is the circuit that's gonna kick them off. We go down, break this, it'll send them off. Now what'll happen is it'll kick that T, this furnace right here, kick this T flip flop on, it'll shut that line down and then it'll allow the mine carts to flow until everything is smelted. And once this furnace turns off, the line will turn back on and it'll shut the mine carts back off. So all you have to do is put the fuel in and then put in your, I prefer to do 40 stacks because it's super fuel efficient. So let's put our coal in here. And as you can see, that runs at four times hopper speed. That's gonna fill up very quickly. We like that, we like quick. Quicker is better than slow, you know? That's why we do it that way. So we're going to put seven. Seven stacks is what we need to kick this thing off. We need five in this bottom one. And then we need that second one up to fill with a stack plus one item before it'll kick them mine cards off. So now it's going to fall at four times speed. It's going to fall pretty quickly. It's going to light that up. It's going to kick those mine cards off. And now they're going to light that furnace. And now that they have lit that furnace... It's going to kick this circuit off, which is going to allow the mine carts to run until every single item is completely smelted because the mine carts will keep the, the furnace on with it'll have items in it. The only time that it'll turn off is when the furnace no longer detects items. And like, as you can see, this thing smelts really, really fast. There will be no breaks or no gaps in between the first stack and the second stack there is no breaks it's just continuously flows into the chest now coming out of course it's going to be a little bit slower than four times speed because we have to smelt all these things but you know give or take it i don't think you can get i don't think you can smelt 40 stacks faster than 10 minutes like i just don't think you can do it and if you can like please build something and put it in my comments below so what we're going to do next is we're just going to sit back and put it in four times speed and we're going to let this bad boy run a little bit. You know, we're going to see how, and it doesn't take long for us to get our seven stacks out of the other bag. It's, it's fairly, it's a fairly simple, well-oiled machine. Should be about it when it, when it's done smelting here. That furnace shuts off, it's going to turn this line back on, it's going to depower that those torches, and then minecart's going to stop running. And then all of your items are going to come down here into this chest. Completely full, fully automatic. You can tuck this thing behind the wall, you can tuck this thing under your floor, you know, with uh, item elevators, or whatever your favorite flavor is. Well, guys, I hope the tutorial helped you in your survival world, and if it did... Please leave me a like, a sub, maybe a comment. Every little bit helps on my new channel. Very much appreciated, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.